The idea is that you go to YouTube or you put it on a proprietary, you give them, you lease it to Amazon basically. Yeah. And then you go to YouTube and you can do it for free, you know, because you can monetize it from a premium. There's a bunch of ways to make some money, but that's not what's important. What's important is you get into that algorithm and then people see it. And that's all I care about. I'm not like, oh shit, we got to make this money back. That's not the point. Right. The point is, is that a lot of people don't know that I do stand up. And when they come to my shows, they come because, oh, I liked him in Deadpool. Or, oh, my mm. God. Or my kids, Silicon love Valley, my, yeah. gra- my kids love him on Gravity Falls. And I've had to mm. watch him a hundred times because he's, he's the star of the Emoji movie. Yeah. Big you, guys, you guys have seen it. Don't, I, I took, don't pretend that you haven't. I took my kids to it. It was a Do pilot my shit in the movie. And don't pretend that you haven't. I like how you enunciated all of it, yeah. Yeah, I do Else. a lot of diction work. I'm a real <laughs> diction. And, uh, and so... Uh, you know, then they come, and a lot of times afterwards, when I used to do meet and greets, they'd be like, "You were really funny." Like, like sometimes they go like, this, "How do you go, feel about you know, that?" When you you've been actually a comedian pretty for funny. decades, yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. It's the actual, I started as the an actual, improviser, yeah. then stand up, and I, you know, it's just for me, it's kind of like, "Oh, thank you." You didn't need to say "actually" or "pretty." You could have said "you're funny" <laughs> instead of "you know, you were actually." pretty funny there's two yeah. qualifiers in that statement two it's a backhanded compliment is what it is i don't think they mean it to be i think they just they came to see mm. a celebrity in person mm-hmm. and then it ended up that he was a good comedian and so i kind of need to flood the internet with a mm. lot of stand-up so that when people are like oh he's coming to town let's like look him up on youtube mm. then they can see that i've got not only three specials but i also did like four weekends of this thing called the set list mm. and it's where i improvise stand up on the spot the audience gives me ideas we throw it up on a screen behind me they see it for the first time i see it for the first time and then i'll riff a joke right off of that right and then move on to the next thing and i think that's pretty fun too because people are like is that real and it is and that's gonna sort of go on all my channels also um but i sort of needed that because um that's what I am is I'm a stand-up comic. I've just worked a lot in Hollywood. Mm. A lot. And I'm assuming you love it more. Um, stand-up? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's fun. I read an article. Pete Holmes is doing a new CBS, sit, like, network sitcom. Mm-hmm. And mm. I – it's perfect for him. Yeah. Um, but he said in an interview – I read, like, a bit of an interview, um, and he said – uh, this might be blasphemy. I'm paraphrasing. <laughs> watch, watch. I'm t- saying he did it, and it's actually Dustin Chaffin. Yeah, it was your <laughs> opener. <laughs> yeah. Call uh, back. Yeah, absolutely. There'll be two more of those. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, I did crystal math before I came here, mm-hmm. and this uh, AF is hard as seltzer. That's it. Those are the last callbacks. You're welcome. Um, Thank you. Yeah, it's an audio show. It's for them as well. You ever have, you ever have somebody audio. say you're welcome and you didn't thank them? You guys, I do that on uh, that. I do that on accident. Well, he introduced you as the co-host. Mm. Yeah, well, I said this, this is my co-host. Not we're, the host. But I'm also his co-host. You didn't say that. It's a we're co-hosting show. I'm going to create tension on the show. I don't There's give a two. fuck. There's yeah, two you, but of you us. didn't say that. Mm-hmm. You didn't say, hey, I'm his co-host. What else would I have been besides a co-host? Yeah, the host. No, and he's the co-host. Uh, that would be sidekick. He'd be fucking Andy. What? Yes. You're calling him your he's no your sidekick. It would be Conan and Andy. I didn't say that. I said co-host. You know what? I, you just said Conan. We host the you show said together. Conan. We're two you men. Said he's your who Conan host. host. The show together. He said, "This is my Conan host." I've God smoked. Damn it! I've smoked quite a bit of weed today. So you don't give a shit. No. I'll say you're. He's got a pipe right I'll say there. You're kind of funnier than him because you go on the low. You know. He goes low. Out. I go high. I can't. Hear it's him. harmonizing. Go it harmonizing. crank up the air in here. We've had a, a ton of Terry Blacks, so the meat sweats are starting to pour down. Yeah, I'm, I'm God, starting to get a little sweaty. Before you came in, we had Terry Blacks. It's super humid today, and too. that really fucking gives you the meat sweats. Have you had Terry Blacks here? Is that your jam? No, but you know what I heard about it. It's supposed to be amazing, it is, right? We got some in the back. Yeah. We 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 literally just ordered it for everybody here. Oh Welcome man, I would love some of that. I'm yes. a pescatarian, but today's the day. You quit. You no, quit. I'm not a fucking pescatarian, but Kate is. So I eat pescatarian when I'm around her. You did post something about a dude smoking out of a fish uh, not too long yeah, ago. Yeah, totally. What the fuck was that bullshit? I don't know, but I'd slap the goddamn fish out of that guy's face. <laughs> <laughs> How dare he? How far are you willing to take it today? Can we go on your whole life? Do you care? Do you give well, a shit yeah, you know, so what I was going to say is, so it's strange because, anyway, what I was going to say is that Pete Holmes 
said, I'm going to be blasphemous, but I enjoy acting more than I like stand-up, which I understand because he hasn't done much acting at all. Mm-hmm. He played himself mm-hmm. in Crashing, just like Kumail Nanjiani, a cohort both from Chicago and... It's cohort, not mm-hmm. co-host. Yeah. Um, from Chicago, he played himself in The Big Sick and was amazing. Mm-hmm. And Pete was amazing on Crashing. But that's not really acting, right? So I've never done a narrative about me as tj miller Mm -hmm. right but i've played all these different characters but i i acted for like 10 years in hollywood and then now i'm finally able to do stand up at a pace and this is going to go into uh the brain surgery stuff at a pace that i really want to so i had brain surgery in 2010 and what I had was an AVM, an arteriovenous malformation. What that is is a congenital, which I didn't know what that meant until people took a golf ball-sized piece of my brain out of mm. my head. <clears throat> and that's I mean, not that's an exaggeration, by the way. It's got genital no, in it, so I'm in. What's that? It has the word genital inside of it, so I'm in. Congenital? Yeah, yeah. you are. Yeah. And I, I, it says the word con. So I think you and I could both be co-host with yeah. genitals um, con genitals with genitals that's yeah okay i'll take it yep you're you're fluent spanish uh <laughs> con that's just an italian accent yeah. um, <laughs> so uh i was born with this malformation and i had a hemorrhage uh in new Z- well right after new zealand i was filming yogi bear 3d you've seen it oh yeah don't Huge pretend fan. you have the world the world's movie i saw it on pornhub actually yeah you did you yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's called a Yogi Bear 3 dick. Yeah, there's three dicks in that Yogi Bear. I went for it because I wanted to support you because I'm your co-host. I appreciate that. Sure. <laughs> I regret it. <laughs> so, um, so I had this hemorrhage mm. because my brain is unstable. And luckily, I had a bleed, two seizures, and then I went to the hospital, the best hospital, Cedar sinai And they took, and you can see it, on, I did it on a Comedy Central show, so you can see the whole story there on mm. This Is Not Happening with Ari Shafir, who's hilarious. But they took that out of my brain, and so now I take this medication to stop me from having seizures, uh, strokes, and aneurysms. Obviously, two of those are okay, mm-hmm. right? The other one's not great. So a seizure and an aneurysm are fine. Because you either don't die or you die. But a stroke can be pretty... Yeah, you don't want to be talking out of the side of the mouth like you were earlier. Certainly not. Yeah. Um, And so... uh, Although, if you started playing roles of, like, old 1940s gangsters, they talked out of the side of their mouths a lot for some reason. So yeah, go back had, to Bogart. They, and they also had trouble walking on their left side, and their loved ones had to care for them. That's true, yeah. <laughs> Look, Jesus of, Christ, of, who's this fucking <laughs> co-host? <laughs> so, I... Uh, so, yeah, so I take medication for that. I also take medication for mania. And so what happened was I was also working at a speed that people really didn't understand but could profit from in Hollywood. Mm-hmm. And I never really talked a lot about being brain damaged. Mm. Or as my uh, cognitive remediation neuropsychologist would say, you know, there are challenges, yeah. right? But it's really I was born with damage to my brain, and they sort of fixed it. But I used to have a level of mania that you would attribute to a bipolar disorder. Mm. But I did not have the depression. Or if I did, the mania would run right over it. And so I was just working at a speed that people couldn't even understand. Um, And then now that I had that brain surgery, and years later, it was actually because uh, I had a misunderstanding with the federal government. Mm. And (laughs) they were able to... uh, Actually, I was able to find my way to this neuropsychologist, Dr. Vias, who's amazing and on the East Coast, based out of Connecticut and Manhattan. Shout out. And uh, she, what if that's all I promoted? Yeah. Was like that was it. mental health yeah. <laughs> professionals. Really. Go Do- see TJ. Dr. Dr. Stokel, neurologist, Cedar sinai Getting you know what it is. You're getting kicked And I just looked at the only <laughs> camera that's facing the production team, which I think is pretty funny. Yeah. So, um, you know, later I would sort of find out that this speed was just, I just thought I didn't need to sleep more than four hours. I thought that I could work for nine hours straight Mm. and that was just fun for me. Mm. But really it's like when your brain moves that quickly, then you sort of, the only way to work it out is to put it into something. Mm -hmm. So that was really, um, you know, that was sort of really detrimental. And Kate and I met in college so we've known each other for 20 years. 
And she was starting to be like, I'd rather you live longer than work at this speed. And so that's what I put a lot of time into. And that's why it's nice that I'm just focusing on stand-up. All of that comes back around to say that I'm doing 16 shows in 10 days and I'm looking at adding a 17th show Thursday at the Creek in the Cave sure. here in Austin. Um, so I'm still working at a certain speed, um, but I try and like bring it down Focus a little bit. Focus to one thing. Yeah, or just yeah. bring it down a little bit so that I'm not. But for instance, on the way over, I sort of had the choice between listening to music and kind of really, I walked here and kind of relaxing um, or listening to the sets from the last three days and writing as I went and all that kind of stuff and answering emails as mm. I'm writing and listening. <laughs> and, um, so I made the conscious decision to just bring it down a bit. And that's kind of the thing that I think I never talked about and people didn't really understand. And on Silicon Valley, I kind of had some well, let's call them challenges, <laughs> uh, because I would do a 14-hour day. I did this on films also, but like on films, people are movie stars or they're happy to be there, and movie stars sort of understand the situation because they can relate to me. The people that are happy to be there are very like polite and excited, mm. and it's just a great experience. But on the television show, it's kind of a day job because you have to go five days a week, yep. get up at five... And but some of I, those shoots are like fucking 10 months out of the year, too. I don't think people understand. Yeah, that's, well, that's network. But we yeah. were like four or five months. Mm. But what I would do is I would work 12, 14 hours, then go do sets all the way till midnight because I do t two or three sets, which was hard in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. And then afterwards, I would hang with like a buddy and would write and we'd like not only stand up, but sketch and improv, just ideas for formats of improv shows. Then I would go home and be two in the morning and then I'd wake up and it would be f five or six and I'd go in and I'd go on camera and, you know, kill it or do well. Um, I would kill it. And then in between scenes, I would like go to sleep and then they would wake me up yep. and I would be like, all right, here we go. I would go in there, do well, wait till the, there was movement of the cameras, go back to sleep. And what happened was people thought I was a drug addict. Because that's not how most people work. But at lunch, I wouldn't have lunch. I would go to the trailer and work. Mm -hmm. And that was sort of the speed that I was doing everything. So I think Kate was absolutely right in saying this pace is just not going to work for your health, but also for the perception of the, the businesses and the people around you. Mm -hmm. and, uh, mm -hmm. and so that was really interesting. But it's, it's nice kind of to transition into a more chill place, but by chill place, I mean 16 shows, 10 days, adding a 17th, which will take me to the only day I had off Thursday, having a show, then to Salt Lake City, two shows Friday, two shows Saturday. We added a show on Sunday. And then you're dead on what, Monday or Tuesday? I or? think Tuesday, because Tuesday? Monday I'll do crystal meth. Yeah. <laughs> She had a third. And that'll push over, yeah. That's a third, third callback. Call yeah. I've 